introduce the 2013 Pride in Gravesham Awards. These are awards which seek to recognise the fantastic volunteering work which takes place across the borough and which makes such a difference to the lives of so many residents. As usual, we've had many worthy nominations and so it has been with great deliberation that the panel have chosen the winners. The Mayor will present each winner with their award. The first category is for a person who has made a special contribution to the lives of young people. The winner has been a governor at Riverview Infant School for over 45 years. In fact, ever since it opened in 1963. He works tirelessly for his school community to ensure the highest quality education for the children. He is involved in all aspects of school life, from the recruitment of high quality staff to the procurement of the best quality resources, and to ensuring the premises are up to date and fit for purpose. The school even has a small hall named the Friday Hall in his honour. He has been keen that the school should have a community room to serve the wider needs of the community and this aspiration has recently been realised. He mends stalls at PTA fairs and is very much loved by all the children, particularly, I'm told, when he dresses as Father Christmas to give out Christmas gifts. He always gives freely of his time, expertise and his dedication and commitment to the school ensures that he leads and supports the team of governors to make critical decisions necessary to ensure the school is the best it can possibly be. So ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate and welcome to the stage, Robin Friday. See, we have a very bossy photographer tonight. <laughs> well, they need to be, they need to be. The second category is an award for a person who has made a special contribution to the lives of older people. The winner has been involved for some 30 years with Hyam Age Concern Luncheon Club and six years ago took on the role of coordinator. The club operates entirely on a voluntary basis and is intended for the elderly residents of the village who live alone and find it difficult to get out. Members are collected from their homes weekly and are provided with a freshly cooked lunch followed by regular social activities and afterwards returned safely to their homes. The club depends upon three teams of volunteers comprising drivers, cooks and hostesses. The winner acts as a hostess but also as the coordinator 
She is responsible for the overall organisation of the club. This includes fundraising to make sure that they remain solvent and also it involves recruiting volunteers to continue the club. The Council is pleased to be able to recognise the 30 years of service to the Luncheon Club given by our winner. Please congratulate and give a warm welcome as to the stage comes Barbara West. Category 3 is an award for a person who has made a special contribution to the community. The winner's involvement in village life has spanned being a governor of Vigo School, a member of the Vigo Residents Association for 10 years, and serving as a parish councillor for 12 years. Additionally, she has served on the Village Hall Management Committee and was instrumental in obtaining a lottery award for improvements and repairs to the village hall. And there's more. She chose the Youth and Community Forum and was successful in obtaining a multi-purpose ballpark and shelter and is currently working on designing a project to provide a new youth centre and scout hunt. For 20 years she has run the Vigo Go Club for active middle-aged and retired villagers organising speakers and coach trips. She runs the Vigo... She runs the, she runs the Vigo Craft Club and Vigo Poppin, which holds a weekly tea and biscuits meeting. All this, as well as looking after her own family, dealing with some health problems and ageing parents over the years. How has she managed to cram all that in? Please congratulate and welcome to the stage, Janet Jones. Category 4 is an award for a person who has made a special contribution to cultural diversity and understanding. The winner came to Gratian 25 years ago and has worked tirelessly enabling different communities to flourish. As Vice Chair of Jagnu Bangla Group, he has raised substantial funds and developed a studio at Holy Trinity School as a community art centre which is used by more than 1,000 young people each week. He encouraged Jagnu to change from being solely an all-male Sikh dance group to one also involving Muslim and British women amongst its 100 members. He has acted as a cultural ambassador for Croatia, leading Jagnu to perform at international festivals all over Western and Eastern Europe as well as the USA, the Middle East and India. 
He organises annual visits for children from Chernobyl to the Gurdwara, providing for an exchange of traditions with Croatian Sikh community. He holds race, faith and culture workshops at the Gurdwara for community groups and has written a number of books. He helped establish the Guru Nanak Day Centre for Sikh older people, assisted the Croatian Muslim Association to establish a Muslim cultural centre, and has worked with local Muslim women and children and the Sikh community to promote understanding of their cultures and develop a sacred spaces photographic exhibition at the V&A Museum. On top of all of this, he has worked with communities in Denton for seven years to enhance community life, which led to the opening of the Riverside Centre. He assisted the development of the Asian Welfare Association. He supported squadron leader Mahinda Singh Puji to write his life story, and also as the parent of a disabled child, is working to support 550 local families with a child with autism. A truly phenomenal record of contribution to the promotion of cultural understanding and community cohesion. Please congratulate and welcome to the stage Keith Wynn Cull. special contribution to the community. This group celebrated the 150th anniversary of their arrival in Gravesend in 2010, meaning it has now been working within this community for 153 years. The members have founded schools and made a great contribution to the education and development of the lives of thousands of children from nursery right through to university. They have worked ceaselessly in caring for the elderly in care homes, as well as visiting them in their own homes and in hospitals and hospices, bringing a much needed peaceful calm and sincere friendship to the elderly, lonely and dying within our community. For over 20 years, they have been active in their help for the House of Mercy, giving shelter to the homeless. They have helped as trustees and financially. In the last year, they have acquired further premises so that even more needy people can be housed in these very difficult times. They are now further expanding this aid and are planning to purchase further property. Many of the people that are helped by them are young adults who have suffered family breakups and other domestic problems. They are housed, given the necessary assistance and advice to get back on their feet, find jobs, and hopefully within six months, they're in a position to find their own accommodation and work. They're also involved in the spiritual development of young people. They welcome all, regardless of background or religion into the schools, care homes, and house of mercy. They give themselves wholeheartedly, evidenced by their charity work, often raising funds for the house of mercy through sponsored sleep outs. For those of you who may not know, 
Their founder is the Venerable Catherine Macaulay, and she said this, It is a special favour of God to be made servants of his suffering poor. This group, based in Gravesend, is indeed very clearly blessed with special favours from God. Please congratulate and welcome to the stage representatives of the Sisters of Mercy, Gravesend. special <coughs> every year we have a special civic award chosen by the leader of the council and the chief executive it is intended to be a recognition of what the leader and I consider to be exceptional achievement but tonight it's slightly different because we've decided to make two awards dealing with the first in 2010 a scheme involving 25 churches was introduced whereby 20 volunteers from across Gravesham had been patrolling the town centre on Fridays between 11pm and 3am to help those in the town in need. It has to be said, many of those might be what are, could be described as revellers. As well as removing hundreds of discarded glass bottles from the streets, they give out water, flip-flops for girls with feet sore from high heels and perform first aid. The initiative has been such a success, the church has commissioned a further 16 trained street pastors which enabled the town centre to be covered on Saturday nights as well as Fridays. Reverend Michael Fanstone, who is chairman of the management group of the programme in Gravesend, says it has been successful because people see them as a friendly, non-threatening presence. Working closely with council CCTV operators and nightclub security staff, the volunteers find out where trouble is happening or about to happen and get there quickly <coughs> to help. The volunteers help in so many different ways. Often their calm approach means that they can diffuse tension and help to calm everyone down so that the police don't need to be involved. Anyone who knows about the work of the street pastors knows that they've made a huge improvement to the well-being of all who are part of the nighttime economy in the town centre. So please show your appreciation and welcome to the stage representatives of Gravesend Street Pastors.
second uh, Civic Award and the final award of the evening. Now, it's probably not widely appreciated that the Borough Council is the largest employer in Great Britain. The Council is a large and diverse organisation, providing a wide range of services and carrying out many statutory functions that residents depend upon. Like any large organisation, it takes considerable managing if it is to be effective. And because of the diverse nature of the services it provides, every day it presents new and demanding challenges. Last summer, we had the London Olympics and Paralympics. And by common consent, Gresham celebrated the Games in great style, capturing the spirit of the Games and reflecting it out to the community. That required an enormous amount of organisation and leadership, as well as an immense amount of hard work by many people. Whilst this was going on, however, yours truly was recuperating from an operation and on enforced sick <coughs> leave. My absence created additional pressures for my colleagues, and much of that fell on one person in particular. So the leader and I wish to recognise with a special award the superb effort put in by the person who not only led the Council's Olympic celebration so successfully, but who also simultaneously filled in as the acting chief executive for much of my enforced absence, and thus faced an incredibly demanding period, yet handled every challenge brilliantly. The Council was incredibly well served by this person's commitment, enthusiasm, and sheer hard work. So please congratulate and welcome to the stage the Council's very own Melanie Norris. Madam Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes uh, the awards ceremony part of the evening. But before we commence 